It's live. One minute. Okay. One minute, guys. Good evening, everybody, and uh, sorry for the delay. I had uh, some issue coming up in the last end, and there was a huge uh, jam in the unusual traffic, right, while coming back through. So let's get started, guys. This is mainly for the students who are FMG students who are undergoing a transition for the next exam, and uh, this is mainly for the junior batches, like in your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, not the exam going students. This is a strategy session basically this will help you understand what you're supposed to do in your you know respective years and how you can plan for this upcoming exam which has been officially announced to be conducted from 2024 right so good evening everybody hello siraj hanumant hi dhruv uh arvind arvind yeah no no we'll get started much earlier than that and uh Tirumani, chansi hope you're all good so let's uh get first uh, started and uh I'll take up your queries and your, uh, you know, discussions meanwhile. So basically, right, first, whenever students hear this next exam, especially from FMG students, when they hear these next exam, there is an unnecessary fear or unnecessary, you know, worry or anxiety. I personally feel, in my opinion, right, next is going to be a blessing in disguise for all the FMG students. It is going to be a blessing in disguise. Now, this is something you should be happy about, right? If you're a little planned and if you can really start earlier, right? This will be a blessing in disguise for you. Uh, trust me on that. This will remove a lot of bias that you are going through and uh, it will be a good exam to go through with. Uh, why I say that? Why this next exam is going to be a blessing in disguise? First thing, you will be having a exam on par with medical Indian students, Indian graduates. And these includes both government and the private college, right? So the exam cannot be so biased as it was before. It will be a uniform exam. Everybody, whether in whichever city they are studying in, the only criteria is whether you have passed next or not. Same like what you are looking at USMLE also. They don't worry about which college you are from, which country you are from, what is your score in USMLE. And that gives a lot of level playing ground for you to, you know, perform better. So please understand, it is going to be a huge change in the way people perceive FMGs or, you know, your efforts will be duly validated. And other thing, because here, even the Indian graduates also have to write the exam. So the generally, the exam cannot be just having a 9%, 10% pass percentage, which all the FMGs have, right? So previous FMG exams, if you see, there was, you know, the recent one was good, having a good percentage, but previous exams, the average was around 12%, you know, maximum 20% like that. But uh, the upcoming next exam, you may not have the such low percentages. We'll have high pass percentage. So high pass percentage I'm expecting because you have to have all the you know graduates going into their internships, getting into their uh, uh, exams, uh, into the hospital work and also it is important that there is a, enough number of manpower there. So you cannot have a 9%, 10% pass percentage. It should be a high pass percentage exam that you have, especially for the licensing part. And uh, then another important thing that why I feel this is a blessing in disguise for FMG students is one is it will remove the bias that you have, right? And if you can get good scores with a single exam, right, you can get into postgraduate seats. So if you're really planned and working hard in whichever university, whichever country you're listening me from, right? So if you're really planning your future, like the next couple of years that you are very synchronized in your efforts, you could get end, end up getting a postgraduate selection only. So here, now what is happening? Many of the FMGs I know, they're getting 200 plus, 250 plus, right, 230 plus, but still there is no benefit to them, right, so as far as getting into postgraduate, they again have to go through internship, they have to, you know, go through a lot of different phases of their life, they start working in hospitals and all, and then again, when they sit for NEET PG, their orientation, their knowledge, and their, you know, uh, they are distracted a little from, away from their academics, but once you are preparing for next, Right? This will give you a very good advantage that with a single preparation, you can cl clear up your license also, you can uh, be assured of a postgraduate selection also. 
and we will not uh, get into a lot of uh, speculation of the pattern of exam right the guidelines will be announced soon i am hoping by within this one or two months we should have the complete guidelines there is a expected mock exam also that is to be conducted there are a few things that we all know that the exam is going to be next one and next two right so what we all know that there are two 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 parts next one and next two next one you have six main subjects right six main subjects you have that is ENT, Ophthal, you have Medicine, Surgery, OBG and Gynecology, right, Pediatrics. So these are the six main subjects that they are targeting. Along with that, you also have part of PSM and Allied Subjects. Allied Subjects. And what do we mean by these Allied Subjects? These are Derma, Psychiatry, Anesthesia, ortho, right. So, in total, you have to focus on these subjects. There are six main subjects that you have to write the exam, and also a lot number of questions will be there from these subjects. So, your approach should be that you clear this next, join your internship, and you enter into next two. Next two is a practical exam and a pass or fail conducted by the state university. Right, so it is not connected by the national board or the AIMS authority. It is usually by the state universities, and uh, it's just a pass and fail, a clinical testing exam. And the good thing, why am I saying that this is again a blessing in disguise? Is in case some students have a you know attempt which is not done good, then there is a supplementary of next one within you know four to six weeks only. So you won't lose lot of time. Right, there will be a supplementary again of next one. In case you are, you know, having some kind of issue in one or two subjects in next one, you can clear them up, right, within our next. So, you don't have to wait the six, six months journey. Many students have, you know, lost so much of years and time in that. Here, you don't have. But yes, issue is there that if supplementary is also not done, then you lose almost one year to get back to the next one again. And you have to pass next within 10 years of joining your MBBS. So your two steps should be completed, next one, next two should be completed within 10 years. So your MBBS should be completed within 10 years of time since you graduate and that's decent enough time for you to crack the exam, right? And uh, the announcement of the exam has been done in 2024, ministry has said that they'll conduct next in 2024. So that is for sure. So all the students who are going to graduate in 2024, right? Be clear, clear about that. It is already mentioned. It is already, you know, informed by the ministry that the next will be then from 2024. So you don't have any doubts on that. About December FMG, right? We have to wait for the official notification. Uh, if uh, the next is a little delayed towards May or so, right? The first part, then you may have a December FMG. But if they want to do it a little earlier in January or February, they may give you this uh, next exam. But I personally feel it may take you may get a chance in December to clear your FMG. Uh, let's hope for the final guidelines to come. Let's not speculate. Let's keep studying our subjects, right? The content remains same, especially if you can concentrate on these subjects. So these are total 10 subjects, it's not very different. It's not like very different preparation. So if you count the total number of subjects you have, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, almost you know 11 subjects you are already studying there. So and also they said 10% from your allied subjects, your basic subjects. But if you can focus on these subjects, right, and uh, keep preparing among those 19 subjects, if your focus is mainly on these 10 subjects, still we get your final guidelines. Even the people who are preparing for December FMG, you should be very well, well versed to you know compete for the exam. But anyways, the guidelines will be much faster. But as clearly mentioned, it is going to be in 2024. Okay, it will not be in December or stuff like that. So hope that you know you're going to write the exam in 2024 only. Now, then coming to NEET, the next exam for FMG students, how your approach should be. Most of the FMGs have a six-year course, right? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And, uh, you know, let me first focus on this group. 
So you are either a student who is going to join after uh, your summer holidays now. Now you must be, most of you people must be coming back to India, right, getting into your, you know, vacations. And after a couple of months, you may go back to your university to join your sixth year or fourth year or fifth year. These are the main students that I'm trying to, you know, inform to be prepared because they are the ones who will be facing this exam very early, especially the sixth year student. And if you're a sixth year student, right, please understand. Next is a exam which looks as per the guidelines. It was looking at the first attempt very, very carefully. Your first attempt has to be a very good attempt because even if you improve in the next exams, it is an average that is taken. So your sixth year student, you have to be, this is the most crucial year that you are in. Those who have finished their five years, they are going in, coming for the summer vacation and who will get into sixth year. Please remember, you will be writing a next exam for sure. Okay, there is no doubt on that. Okay. So you have to be really, really smart in your approach because your first attempt has to be the best attempt that you're giving. And it, if you are really good, you can actually end up, you know, getting a clinical seat also. So please uh, don't underestimate the potential and you have good enough time to, you know, correct that journey and work on your, you know, weak subjects and get through, get on to your preparation. And for them, I would advise strongly to use your summer vacations when you're coming back to India, use your summer vacations wisely. Right. You have two to three months, okay, two months, most of the students have two months, but uh, if you can invest these two months, only the sixth year students I'm saying, I'm not asking for any of the juniors, only for the sixth year students, because you are the one who is going to face the first transitional exam, right, if you can use your summer vacations wisely, two months, and during this summer vacation in India, right, in whichever cities you are, if you can, you know, work on these subjects, these four, six subjects that we have discussed, right, so, if you are well versed of that concepts, that content that is needed for you for your preparation, remember content remains the same, the approach may change, content will not change, right? So you still need to know the content, the question pattern, the approach will be learning as the guidelines come out, we have a clear clarity on the, you know, pattern of the exam. But for now, please work on the content, especially for these six subjects, if you can, you know, plan your vacations wisely, by then you should expect the guidelines to be there and your preparation for the next one year will be primarily focused on, you know, learning not just the content, but also the new approach towards exam, right? And this should be your best attempt. And this early start of your summer, two months of preparation will have a huge advantage in, you know, being ready for the exam. Because you already are fresh with the content, you know the subjects now. It's all about, you know, revising, doing more clinical questions, right? Going into the depth, learning what the new approach is expecting you to be. Right? There will be problem solving questions. Most of the questions are problem solving. You will understand what is the time pattern that is given. And, you know, once the guidelines come in, we'll not speculate much on the pattern also. We'll just wait for the guidelines, official guidelines to come. But I just want you to understand that this could be a best approach if you are writing your next exam in 2024. Right, so this is for your sixth year students who are going up, going into be in sixth year after, uh, you know, your uh, summer vacations. Then, then the most crucial years I feel, right, in your FMG journey, when you're a foreign medical graduate in your crucial journey is your, these two years, right? Now, th I, these are the most important, these are the most important because by this time, the pattern is known people are preparing for, for the, you know, upcoming next exams. And if you're not, uh, you know, focused on your preparation, even in your fourth year, fifth year, you may find it very difficult to compete and get good seats. And when you're having a chance to get into postgraduate seats, why not start, start early and get that advantage? If I was suggesting, right, a fourth year student who is getting into FMG in the fourth year student of, of any university, right, he should start off Whichever, doesn't matter what is going on in your university, right? Your university schedule will be separate. They'll be teaching different subjects, different topics in different universities, different countries, that is different. But you should start seeing that your preparation for next is on focus. Are you completing ENT, Optal, right? A part of PSM. You can do some allied subjects, some short subjects, right? In your uh, fourth year. So if you can target these, Right, the like subject that like you can finish dharma, anesthesia, psychiatry, some topics as much as possible. And in final year, you can start working on your medicine, surgery, OBG, because these are going to happen in the same year. And you will also be, you know, preparing uh, for your next also, for your university exams also. And this balance that you can create will give you one enough year 
to revise and consolidate the entire topic and be very very well prepared for your next exam in this sixth year so sixth year will keep only for revision not like you know having something to plan or study so if you are looking at a good score you can change the whole thing the whole game and more than your iq more than your hard work the single most important factor what i personally feel important for your competitive exams is starting early who started early they will win the race right irrespective of how much hard work somebody is doing in the final year somebody is you know irrespective of how much of you know iq you have if you have started late right it won't help you so it is very important that you start early these are your golden years if you are a foreign medical graduates please utilize them wisely you should end of fourth year if you are not completed this then you are going to have a you know difficult time to complete these major subjects these are very big subjects these are not small subjects these are big subjects that you have so you cannot carry this burden and you know into your fifth year or sixth year try to do there are so much of resource available so many universities have live classes offline classes being conducted there are you know access to so much of content right you have so there is not a problem of content now it is the commitment that is needed from your side content is available easily throughout right everywhere the content is there what is needed is commitment so if you can get started from the fourth year this will give you a huge advantage right to come for this thing and fifth year students again the same thing you have to carry on with this right and you have to be little aggressive to add in little more subjects here if of your next subjects right once you are in fifth year so that sixth year you can preserve for your final revisions lot of question solving uh, practicing more mcqs like that right then then uh i'll take up your questions also i'll look into your questions also then december 2024 next date will be announced it will not be that late in december 2024 but people who are graduating in 2024 you definitely you are going to write uh, next exam okay then neat pg i personally feel yes they will conduct neat pg for interns post interns because they already have written their university exam so there will be a simultaneous neat pg as well as a next coming for 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 both the both the you know for a couple of years they balance that to see that all the interns and post interns get a chance to write the neat exam and uh, then about the first second third years what should you do right you want to enjoy your life well and good okay learn and enjoy your life before you come into this thing but at the same time right see that you are studying standard books now right because it's important that unless you know your anatomy well when you're learning surgery right it will not be easy if you don't know your anatomy well so try to spend time especially i would suggest robins here right pathology if you can you know go through the concept lot of new concepts and uh, the new mechanisms and that, that understanding pathology will ease out a lot of your preparation patho and pharma if you can you know focus on it gives you lot of confidence going into your subjects right later on so these two things are very very crucial for you study from the standard books keep doing you know your uh, routine uh, subjects going through that and they said that 10% of your subjects are going to be from basic sciences 10% of your questions are going to be from your basic sciences so when you're studying these subjects here if you can solve some clinical questions right see related to anatomy so some clinical questions related to physiology and biochemistry that gives you a very good overview of what the upcoming exams and how the testing is happening but don't miss out on the standard books it gives creates a thought process for you the importance of reading standard books is creates a thought process which cannot be done by any shortcut methods right so this thought process is important you understand whole mechanisms in detail and that subconscious depth that you develop while you are studying in your first second and third years right so that that clarity of thought that uh, concepts that you gain right will help you later on in your intense years of preparation right so this is uh, my whole advice for you guys and uh, what about internship after your next you will start your internship after next one right so you have to clear your next one after your sixth year and then you go for your internship so once you pass next one then you join your internship and after internship you, to know how the whether you have developed proper skills you go into next two which is a clinical test right with a pass and fail then you get registered this is how you get registered in the so you have to pass both next one and next two after next one you can start your internship after internship you will go into next two and then you get registered as a medical doctor here right 
if you have completed what they said that you should finish within 10 years and uh, that is good enough time but why are you thinking it will be more than 10 years i hope it will not be because the exam is going to be a bit easier right it will not be that difficult to clear okay so don't compare with what is happening with the fmg patterns and stuff right it is going to be easier you have a supplementary exam within four to six weeks right and then it is good enough time right to complete and uh, let us try to finish in the first attempt right you can really really po put in focus you have so much time so much free time there are you very busy in your universities there right a lot, lot of things to do in your universities uh, they're uh, watching all kind of you know all language movies all language and these things or you know all studying all history different different languages but still at the same time if you focus on next i think uh, you know it should be a good enough time to complete right so that that should be the idea so this was a brief discussion that i wanted you to have a clarity and if you're in your senior years please use your vacations this time when you're coming back to your countries so especially on these subjects right on your clinical subjects that you have been allotted here right do not uh, you know ignore this preparation time especially the sixth upcoming sixth year students upcoming sixth year students this is big time for you imagine that you are the exam going students okay so don't uh, wait for the coming back from your country next year and then sitting for your 2024 exam if your first exam is not good it is going to create a lot of lacuna to correct it okay so a lot of you know gaps that you have to fill to rectify that thing okay so it's very they're taking average of three exams so it becomes very difficult if you don't rectify that thing so please get started in your summers only in your holidays only especially if you're a sixth year student it's my strong advice for you and any other queries you have then you can you know let me know arslan says 10 year completed mbbs or practicing months uh, yes i mean they are they 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 used to be some students like that but doesn't but now the guideline is new that you have to finish and that's good enough time okay it's possible to clear right that should be uh, a good approach to go with and uh, I hope uh, this brief discussion helps you to, you know, uh, prepare and strategize your preparation in a, in a directed manner and we'll come up with uh, more details once the official guidelines come in and more pattern of the exam is official. We are expecting very soon in the next one or two months, we should have the uh, preliminary uh, discussions done and you should have a, you know, guidelines being published. Also, there could be a mock exam soon. And that should give you a good overview of what is expected and stuff. And they, what, what the question they said was going to be problem solving mainly as uh, the paper, the gazette before they had, uh, you know, mentioned that there should be 65% of the questions which are problem solving or clinical analysis. Then care, clinical cases are going to be around 15%, right? Then comprehension around 10%. And recall based questions, which are just memory based questions, are going to be 10%. So you need to understand your subject very well, right? Understand your subjects very well. And for the first, second, and third year students who are studying, if you can, you know, whenever you're studying this anatomy, try to solve the clinical questions of anatomy. You can use a lot of USMLE material if you want, because here are a lot of good questions of USMLE, which are in, in each subject you have anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, pathology, pharma, micro. After doing that subject, try to solve. There are a lot of uh, resources available for doing the, uh, you know, clinical questions from those relevant subjects. So any USMLE books, right, can give you that guidelines with a lot of questions on individual subject. You'll also understand them. It is not going to be that difficult also, right? If you slowly practice that, so what you happens is when you're practicing those, you're already preparing for your, you know, clinical subjects. So because your approach is itself becoming clinical. So when you're coming in your final years, your thought process will be well developed, right? Uh, any other advice? Yes, after each book, after each standard, for example, you have studied anatomy, please go for, you know, questions, clinical questions of anatomy. You will see them in USMLE exams, anatomy, clinical visits of anatomy, or, you know, there are pre-test books available for, uh, you know, this thing. So clinical questions you practice for each subject. Same for biochemistry and pathology. For the six basic subjects, you study, you know, all those clinical questions. After each subject, you did, did upper limb, go for clinical questions of upper limb. They will not just ask you about nerves or origin or artery and stuff. They will ask you what will happen to, if your radial nerve is damaged. Right, they'll give you that clinical scenario of fracture shaft of uh, humerus, then wrist drop happening. You'll have to correlate that radial nerve supplies extensors of the wrist. So that correlation, that thought process will develop if you start solving clinical questions. 
so don't get you know but then more practice you do your mindset your thought process will evolve like that okay so in your first second third years fmg in december 23 i hope it will be you know that depends upon the when they want to conduct the next one they said 2024 and if they are doing it in the early months of 2024 then you may have to be combined of fmg and next but i personally feel it may take some time for them to conduct next so you may have a december chance and uh, next may be available later point of time so you may get a chance to write if you're writing december 23 exam but irrespective of that keep doing your work till you get your official notification don't get you know unnecessarily worried or panicked or don't you know move away from your uh, preparations or you know your content till your official notifications are coming whether it is neat or next or whether it is fmg you have to study your 19 subjects right among them if you count i told you there are going to be these 10 subjects anyways these 10 subjects are part of your 19 subjects so whether you are preparing for fmg or whether you are preparing for next you are already studying those same subjects right so see that strategy is online and once we get our final guidelines we'll modulate entirely based upon the final guidelines official guidelines that we get but for now december 23 think as fmg prepare for fmg wait for the final official notification right uh, i hope uh, so this discussion was useful we'll come up with more such sessions to keep guiding you as and when the official notifications keep coming in right thank you so much for joining so late and uh, i hope uh, we stay connected regularly and uh, we wish to you know help you out through this journey okay best wishes guys and uh, stay positive this is going to be a blessing in disguise right i'll be very very happy when i can see so many of such good hard working students in different you know universities from different countries right struggling through the process of weather food and all when they you know rectify their five years when they dedicate their five years and come back and do post graduation in very good hospitals here right that will be a very very you know tremendous uh, uh, effort that you have done and that's a tremendous glory that you would you know bring back right so having suffered uh, all that thing when you come back here and get into directly to postgraduate see that will be a you know huge huge success so please work for it and i told you it is all about starting early especially when it is competitive exams like this right where postgraduate seats is there the single most important factor is who started first and i hope you will be among those right who start first and revise well and give a very very confident exam in your upcoming exams okay best wishes guys thank you so much